I'll tell you the babysitter coach thing was like really convicting. I am way more comfortable being a babysitter than I am being a coach. Like just in real life, I've never really been a coach of a team or anything like that. Um, so there's kind of, I'm like very much in a learning phase right now of like, how do I be a coach to my kids? And, and even, you know, as a, as a dad, like being a coach, cause I'm, I, I easily can fit into the babysitter. Let's try to have fun and make the kids like smile and laugh. Yeah. And uh, I honestly, like, if I'm totally honest, my wife is better at being a coach than I am. And so, um, and she's, you know, she's got a lot more uh, practice at that professionally. I mean, she led camps and, you know, did all of that. So she's, she's kind of coming in with like well, more equipped uh, from her <laughs> professional side. I'm like, I, man, you got to teach me. Like, I'm way better at being a babysitter. So, <laughs> But yeah, it's just yeah. convicting. This is an area that I really uh, want to get better at and improve in. So that's really good. Yeah, in my marriage, you know, there <laughs> April is she is such a such a good manager and directive leader. There's elements of coaching that she is so much more advanced in than I am. We've we've had this conversation with each other because you know there are elements where it's like, wait, are you know we're swapping potentially some some of the traditional gender elements in the way that we parent our kids? Is that appropriate? And one of the things that we've learned now after parenting our kids for 24 years is that even when she's better at something, my kids take the, the things that are traditionally delivered by the masculine father better from me than from my wife. And we watch that happen over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so oftentimes if she notices because her skill is actually better, she'll actually now almost like equip me or try to teach me, hey, Jeremy, Look, a good coach in this situation <laughs> would actually like, you know, engage right there. Um, and we, 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 and so, and she knows that if she were to do it, she could do it. She's more skilled at some of those things than I am, but it actually isn't better for our family or our kids. Um, so we just watch that over and over again. And so we both help each other in areas where I might be a little more aware than she is um, because my skill set is just wired more for some elements of the maternal um, in the family then I try to point that out. And then similarly, that, that she does that, does that for me. But man, kids, there is, there's, you, there's no replacement and there's no swapping the, the masculine energy and the, and the feminine energy, the kind of way that that is, that is experienced by children, the kind of way that that works its way out in a family. God just did an amazing job of designing that. And so when we decide to individualize or atomize the family and then just ask the question about skill or you know mm -hmm. who's got... You know who's who's got more skill in this area. Let's just like swap everything out. There's something missing in that in that attempt that's being done. I think culturally. 